is 8.40 Tuesday, and I'm getting ready to have me a toaster strudel. I'm heating it up in the oven right now, and I'm pushing my icing. But I'm wondering if these aren't, I haven't looked at the weight on the other ones. Um, I'm wondering if these aren't bigger. Um, they're 180 calories, which I've said in my review, there it's 10 more calories than the regular toaster strudels. But I'm wondering if that's not because there's more in them. They just seem bigger to me. They, um, they seem like there's a lot more uh, filling. Uh, this says one pastry is 54 grams. So maybe if I find the back of another box, I'll be able to see. But it just seems like when I eat it, it seems like the, um, the pumpkin... There's just more of it. It's tastier. It seems heavier. It's actually, it feels like weight-wise like it's heavier. So maybe that explains the 10 more colors. I don't know, but uh, I'll check and and uh, try to remember to comment. I guess I'm just crazy. This is from the Raspberry Toaster Strudel, the Raspberry Cheesecake. And it says they're 54 grams also for one pastry. So... Uh, of course, these are 180 calories. I need to find one that's lower calorie. Well, shoot, that wasn't a comparison. I'll have to find another one. Hold on. Okay, I just went, I went to the Toaster Strudel, the Pillsbury website, and I'm just wrong. Uh, one pastry, 170 calories, is 54 grams. So, it's the same amount, and it's just lower calorie for the berry over the pumpkin so um you know same weight so i was wrong about that so it just seems heavier i wanted to show you if you eat this talenti uh, gelato then i would keep the uh, container because these make great containers for uh, your q-tips and cotton balls and i did keep uh the lids i'm just not i'm not using them in my bathroom see they i still have the lids um but um i put those to the side but i don't need them in my bathroom because these are in a cabinet and i close the door but now in kevin's bathroom kevin has one of these because he's tried three of these and um he um I, we keep the lid on his because his is out open on the counter. So, just for convenience for him, that's just the way he's always done it. I don't even think he's thought to keep them under the cabinet. Just He's just used to keeping them on top. So, anyway, we do keep the lid on his. On his. But um, I would highly recommend keeping these because these are great containers. Um, and you could use them for a lot of things. But, they're as you can see, they're the perfect size uh, for Q-tips, too. Okay, now I want to show you something else. I know I've been showing you a bunch of random stuff this morning, but I don't know if Value City Furniture is like everywhere, but this is a new commercial that I've seen for Value City Furniture, and I don't know why in the world they think that this would be appealing to people. Um, I, I don't think I'm allowed to play the whole commercial because YouTube and copyright and all that stuff, so I'm just going to set it up for you. The P, there's a couple sitting on the couch. The couch is new, and they've commented on how um, they love their new couch, and it kind of puts the old furniture to shame. And so now they start looking at their coffee table. So I'm going to show you a piece of the video now. It's a shame. Yeah, suddenly the coffee table looks dis. Oh. You're right. I can't even look at it without. Oh. All we can do is make getting great style easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why. Why would anyone find that appealing? Why would that commercial with them gagging? Why would that make you want to go to Value City Furniture? I don't know. I think it's disgusting. I mean,. I see people acting like that, and it's just, I don't know, it, it makes me feel that way, too. <laughs> so, uh, definitely not something that makes Value City Furniture appealing. So, I just had to show you that, because, and if you don't have Value City Furniture in your area, then um, you can tell me what you think of that 
too because um, even if you don't have it because then you're not going to see the commercial that's probably a new commercial to you and you can tell me uh, what you think so I just thought that was something interesting it is now 9 15 and um, I, um, after I ate my toaster strudel I uh, put my makeup on and stuff and Gavin will be here in a little while and then a lady is going to come to uh, look at the kitchen cabinets um, we sold one cabinet uh, one set of cabinets but we have three left we have uh, two uppers and then the one uh, lower with the sink and I don't think this is going to come of anything I don't think just from what she had told Kevin on the phone I don't think this is what she's looking for um, but she's supposed to be here at 10 Gavin will be here at about 9.30. He'll be here in about 15 minutes. And then she's supposed to be here at 10. So I will let you know if we sell any. Um, like I said, I don't think we will. Uh, but I just um, have to hope for the best. So I'll let you know. Gavin's wearing this Batman jacket that we got him for Christmas, I think it was. <laughs> He's behind me now. <laughs> It's hard to see you when you get behind me. <laughs> we're standing, um, we're sitting at the door waiting for the lady. Uh, I know the lighting is horrible. We're waiting for the lady to come look at the cabinets because um, she's supposed to be here in a little while. Um, but he looked really cute in his jacket, so I wanted you to see him. Hold on, I'll see if I can get him. There you are. Aren't you cute? Gavin. Gavin. Yeah. He, yes, you look so cute in your jacket. It's like 56 degrees outside or something crazy. Kevin went outside this morning in his dress shirt and dress pants like he always does. And um, he's, he yelled up on the porch, boy, it's cold. Because I always close the front door for him in the morning. Kevin's high chair. So anyway, it, it's been cooler in the mornings, definitely. But I have his jacket on him because I want to be ready when this lady gets here. I want to be ready to, to go out and greet her and show her the cabinets because they are on the side porch. I see you. I've been meaning to tell you this um, for weeks. Uh, we've seen two really good movies lately. Um, and it just depends on your taste, of course. Everyone's taste is different. I thought they were good. Uh, the first one we saw was Lone Survivor. If you like uh, military movies, you have to be into military movies. Um, but if you like military movies, um, it's fantastic. Uh, there is language, uh, lots of bad language, um, and it's because that's typical. I mean, I hate to say it, but... Um, that it that just comes with it um, if you are used to watching military movies um, but it was really really good um, the acting was superb the story um, it was all just very very well done so that's called Lone Survivor and then the other one that we saw was Divergent and it was a good movie I've never read the book, so I had no idea what to expect. Ashley read the book, and Ashley said, although it was a good movie, she said it was not in keeping with the book at all. She said so much so that she doesn't know that she would be interested in watching the next one um, because she she liked the books. And, I, you know, if, if you love a book, then you hate to see somebody come in and make a movie and mess it up. So that's kind of what they did when they made Flowers in the Attic. They kind of really missed the mark on that. And at the end of Flowers in the Attic, um, they, um, they uh, killed off the mother. Well, the mother's alive in the next one. So, I mean, and the mother plays a, a big part of it. So they really... Uh, messed up on that movie and and I know Lifetime I think has redone that and they um, they've even gone so far as to make the next one um, the one after that in the series 
But uh, anyway, Divergent, I liked it. I thought it went on a little long for me. Now, Kevin said the books are very thick. So, um, you know, for them to try to fit a huge book, if it's that big, you know, to try to fit a huge book into a normal movie time, that would be hard. Um, I'm sure that's a horrific noise. He has an Easter egg, and he's rubbing it across the floor, the wood floor, so that's why it's making that noise. Um, but anyway, I liked it. It went on a little long for me, but it was a good movie. It's definitely worth seeing. I'm watching you. I see you. And I know, I'm all washing out my light. That's probably really spooky looking. Really spooky looking. Okay, so anyway, I keep thinking of things I want to tell you. Um, I've been horrible at vlogging lately. Uh, since I decided to do the kitchen remodel separate from the, the vlogs, it's like, well, that's what's going on right now. Although, to be completely honest, there's not much going on at all. So, um, but you'll be hearing all about that in those vlogs. Uh, they're kind of, you know, like the, a kitchen reno series, but they're still vlogs, I guess, because they're what's going on every day. Um, but anyway, I, I'm sorry I've been so bad about vlogging. Um, it's just that, um, I don't know. It, it's just so different. It's getting used to different, we're doing things different now because the house is different right now. So um, anyway, I think the cat might be locked in the dining room. So I'm going to go let him out. I closed the dining room door because um, Gavin likes to go in there. And also because this lady's coming. And so I tried to close off as many doors as I could so our house doesn't look trashed. Uh, even though it's absolutely filthy. I've told Kevin um, that, you know, I kind of have had to put blinders on. When you're doing a home, anything in your home when you're renovating, you kind of had to put blinders on because it's always dirty, everything's always messy, and um, then you don't want to spend hours and hours cleaning because it's just going to get that way. It doesn't take long at all when you're doing renovations for it to get right back to where you started and then you've just wasted all those hours. So I am cleaning, but not like I would if it was, you know, the way it's supposed to be. I came out here and I swept and then I brought the vacuum out and I turned on the vacuum. And Gavin went, he's upset. Andrew and Christina never told me that he was afraid of the vacuum cleaner. They never said that. You know, it's so funny because Ashley was never afraid of the vacuum cleaner, but Andrew was terrified, terrified of the vacuum. So I'm going to turn this back on. Gavin, look, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Nanny's finished. I'm finished. He's like, where is she going with that thing? He's just been standing here with that broom. And, oh, don't fall over the broom and dustpan. He's enjoying just holding those. Yes. Are you going to help me? Yes. I need all the help I can get. He's like, here, you help, Pug. Do something. Be useful. <coughs> Say, be useful, Pug. I want to show you, Gavin has moved these pillows. And then he tried to stand up on the pillow and get on the couch. I'm wondering if that's how he gets on the couch at home. But, because he's done this himself. He's very tired. As you may be able to tell. Gavin, why'd you move the pillows? What are you going to do with the pillow? Hmm? Yeah. Look, if you put this one on top of that one, then that might help. You want to try it now? Huh? You want to try it now?
And while we were making a video, I handed Gavin a hamburger bun, and he's eating a hamburger bun. What are you doing? Do you like the bread? Gives you something to chew on, doesn't it? Uh, uh, it keeps you quiet. Uh. Kevin's going to mow the grass. So the guys are here working in the kitchen. So I brought Guido out front because he can't go out back. Um, and I have my baggie in hand. Normally this is my right hand, but since I'm filming, I have it in my left hand. My baggie and uh, his lead in my hand. So this is how I just go ahead and have my hand in it and have it ready uh, for him to go to the bathroom because he's always going to go to the bathroom. Anytime you go take him for a walk, he has to poop. So um, might as well have your hand in it and have it come in. Oh, he's going to go now. So we'll talk later. Bye. And there's Kevin mowing the yard. Today was Herbie Day and we forgot to take ours down, so hopefully it's not too full. Yes, this is what he does. Knocks dirt everywhere. He's some pug. Esther McGee left a comment telling me about these uh, chocolate chip cream pies from Little Debbie. Uh, what the deal was is I had bought in one of my hauls, I had bought a, a great big box of the uh, peanut butter, uh, I don't know if they're called peanut butter cream, peanut butter cream pie maybe, but they're this big, they're the giant ones. And what she was saying in her comment was they make these in the giant ones too, but she can't find them at the grocery store. She finds them at like a convenience store. Um, so anyway, I've never tried them big or small. So I figured I would they, try them. They sounded really good. And I tried to find the big ones just like she had. But um, like she said, I couldn't find, uh, couldn't find the giant ones either. So that's okay. I'm going to try a small one. They are 150 calories each, and they're, they're, they are small. They're smaller than what I would have thought, but you know what? For 150 calories, I guess I shouldn't expect much because um, uh, an Oreo cookie is 70, and you don't get any cream in the middle. That looks like one of those oatmeal pies. Yeah, and I love Little Debbie oatmeal pies, so I'll, I'll break it up and show you. Oh, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Really soft. Get Kevin to try it. You want to try a bite? Do I get half or a bite? You get half. Keep it. <laughs> mm. That's good. The same filling as the, mm -hmm. the oatmeal ones. Yeah, that's really good. And it's soft. I like that. I can see where the big ones mm -hmm. would be really, really good. They're probably double the calories, but I'm sure they're really good. So, I'm Me, keep... personally, I like the oatmeal ones better. I like the oatmeal ones better, too. Um, if you're a fan of oatmeal, then the oatmeal, you can't beat an oatmeal cream pie. Um, have you ever had the Raisin Heaven? Maybe. The Raisin Cream? I don't remember. They make raisin too. I don't like raisins, so I've never tried them. Um, but they make raisin too, and I'm sure they're good. You get eight snack cakes in here, and it says they were dollar seventy nine. So Walmart probably had them for like a dollar fifty, because you never pay the price on the box. But anyway, these are good, and thank you for pointing them out to me, Aster, because um, um, I I just never paid attention to them before so funny I was just talking to Ashley about uh, the, how excited I was for fall at Bath and Body Works for all the stuff I know it's the end of July 1st of August but I, I just get excited about fall stuff because that's my favorite season and then they sent me this email one week sneak peek online and in stores I didn't realize that you could go in the store and get a sneak peek but anyway they have uh, some of their uh, lotions and candles and things like that um, and of course I'm not gonna buy any sweet cinnamon pumpkin um, a lot of these look really good um, 
but I'm not going to buy any right now. But I just, uh, I think it's nice to get a sneak peek. Cozy Vanilla Cream, uh, Black Cherry Merlot, Weekend Apple Picking. Anyway, they just, uh, they all look good. And I, th I just thought it was ironic that I was just telling Ashley I couldn't wait for this stuff to come out. And uh, then they sent me this. Um, I'm sure the candle smells heavenly, so... Game is called Fun with Pugs. Or a pug. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you. 